Kingsley Palime is joining me in studio now. He just won Red Bull Doodle Art South Africa as part of World Design Capital, and he's joining me to share some of his doodles with us. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Cool. So you won Red Bull Doodle Art by doodling. Yes. That's very cool. Now, when did you start doodling? Uh, actually, it started like three years ago, mm -hmm. but it's been a hidden gift. So yeah. I would say that I started taking it serious two years ago, three years ago, yeah. Okay. And did you start, like all of us start, like doodling in, in your notebooks while yeah. taking notes or yeah. whatever? Yeah, it started in class, yeah. you know. Once I was bored, I was like, okay, let me just draw something out of mm -hmm. my imagination, and that's how it started. Cool, What's your, what was your very first doodle? Do you remember it? Uh, actually, I have it with me right now. Can you now. show us? Uh, yes, it's my layout pad. And... It is an image of me and a bunch of, you know, typography stuff. Here we go. Let's see. This is your first one ever. Yeah. You, so you've been very good right from the beginning. Hey. Yeah, I've been I'm just going to show this to the camera here. Okay, cool. So this is you, hey? Yes. And tell me about some of the uh, typography around you there. Well, typography around it is it like, here. basically, I was telling a story of where I'm from. Mm-hmm. All of these words are places in my hometown, yeah. which is the Val. So I'm from Fonabel, and a lot of these places like Restaval, Booking, mm -hmm. uh, Charleville are places that are close to where I'm from. So I just felt like I should represent where I'm from, you know. That's very cool. Yeah. Now, have you always been a creative and artistic person? Yes, I've always been a creative person yeah. since I was five. Yeah. I would say, like, uh, most of my time that I spent growing up I've always like spent time on my own you know yeah. with my own thoughts so that's how the inspiration came about did you ever think you would be in a doodling competition yeah you did I did but I didn't think it would be the rebel one because there's so many out there yeah yeah but I entered the rebel one and here I am crazy now were you nervous when you entered the Red Bull one when you saw um, the other contestants doodles yeah, yeah. there's Most some pretty definitely. crazy doodles there yeah I mean, yours was the best, obviously. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I saw other contestants out there, and they, they have pretty much, like, go work, you mm -hmm. know, some of the stuff I've seen. Uh, I was nervous during the voting stages when yeah. other co contestants were getting, like, more likes than me. I thought I was, like, done for because... Because it was Facebook likes, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So you, you know, know exactly what's happening. Yeah. So we are like social yeah. in that platform. But yeah, it seems like in terms of creativity mm -hmm. and style, I was the overall winner. What makes a good doodle to you? Uh, a good doodle to me is yeah. like interactive stuff. Like how does it communicate with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, does it have a hidden message? Uh, does it have like a, a sense of content? Yeah. Something that you can identify with the person and where they're from, you know? You know, I think a lot of people don't don't think too much about yeah. doodles. When they hear doodle, they think, oh, it's just a silly, exactly. it's a silly exercise. Do you think doodling is underestimated? Uh, it's always been underestimated. Yeah. If you look in society, how art came about, mm -hmm. you know, it was there during the Renaissance and it became something big. And then it died down. And stuff like fashion, designing, mm -hmm. and photography took over. Yeah. Obviously... The, the craft wasn't there. When it came back to like <coughs> doodling and stuff like that, uh, people underestimated it because it would be something that you would do as a hobby, not as a mm -hmm. profession, you know? They just take it like, oh man, this is what kids do. You know? yeah. But then uh, if you look at a lot of brands nowadays, they're going towards that market. Mm -hmm. Like the whole, you know, the kids, the youth, kind of vibrant market. So that's how people like me are like, are doodlers. Yeah. That's very cool. It's it's fun to say uh, doodle when you doodle. say doodler. You are a doodler. Doodler. <laughs> you are a doodler. They actually gave me a name. Now uh, I'm like uh, king of doodles. Yeah, you should be the king of doodles. Yeah. I think you just made yourself the king of doodles. South Africa. Right? <laughs> For now. For now. Maybe yeah. soon you'll be king of doodles of the world. <laughs> so you won the South African leg of Red Bull yeah. Doodle Art. Yeah. Now, there's still a global um, judging, is it? Yes. Okay, great. So all, all the people who won in the different countries are actually coming to Cape Town yes. at the end of the month. Yes. Are you nervous? I am nervous. 
Have you seen the, the doodles you're up against? Yes, I have and? seen some of the competition. Mm. And they have good technique, mm. I must say. But look at the overall judging, mm -hmm. you know. There might be a couple of things missing here and there, yeah. which I have like a strong chance of taking it. You're very confident, Kingsley. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the winner is going to be announced on October 27th, is that correct? Yes. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. I think, I think you, you're going to take it home, make all of us South Africans proud. Thank you very much, Jennifer.